गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी रजनी फ्रॉम सशक एम्पावरिंग लाइफ अ वीडियो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड फॉर द मच अवेटेड बुक्स बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉकडाउन सिचुएशन द प्रिंटिंग ऑफ बुक्स वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम सो अ लॉट ऑफ यू अ लॉट ऑफ यू आस्क मी फॉर द ई वी एस बुक्स एंड आई कैप्ट सेंग दैट यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉकडाउन वी डोंट हैव इट नाउ दे आर हियर सो नाउ Today I'm going to show you a full set of five EVS books that cover every concept, every aspect of your child's learning. Whether your kid is doing the NIOS curriculum or the regular CBSC curriculum, so this covers entire of your NCERT syllabus. Also, it's a great leisure time activity. So they are not wasting their time; they are busy. doing something constructive and very interesting so i'm pretty excited about this so i'll just very quickly run you through okay so um most of you have known about my volume 1 but i'll still do it for people who don't know um uh, because now we have three new volumes added that is volume 3 okay that is about the water cycle the food chain the continents volume 4 i'll explain all the books here today very quickly that is about the states the state capitals uh, the languages spoken the foods eaten everything union territories who is the ruling first uh, party and who is the uh, you know the chief minister and everything and uh, volume 5 states of matter uh, solid liquid gas and uh, the various land forms and the water bodies uh so these are the new edition so i'll quickly start with volume 1 why uh, because uh, some people have not uh, they wouldn't be aware of the volume 1 so i'm just quickly adding it and it's a gradation that you will see from volume 1 why is it a good idea to have all of them uh, i'll just explain because uh, no learning of your kid is then left out uh, so okay this is volume 1 so this is volume 1 like i said and it has body part plants and animals so this is strictly in accordance with ncert syllabus as well as the nios syllabus for level a so here you have activities very interesting stuff uh, you can cut and paste for people who know this already and are watching the video please excuse me i will reach volume 3 and i'll explain further so i'll just take about a minute or two and explain this so it has uh, the main um, you know ingredients of lesson 1 of all ncert books and all cbsc uh, all 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 curriculum including the nios curriculum which is external organs internal organs and sense organs so those activity based things so you cut and paste here then sentence reading is here we see with our eyes so this portion is cut out this portion is cut out and these are cut out and the kid mixes and matches and you don't have to go anywhere <clears throat> you can do it right here in the book here so you paste the things over here like this then you have questions and answers in various formats because our children need that help that uh, you know what will happen if i don't have eyes why are eyes important same question asked in three ways so that they know the language and they know how to answer it and then uh my favorite make sentences because that's where creative thinking and uh, spontaneous expression comes in so that happens even in evs so make sentences then uh, listen to animals similarly uh, all the syllabi covered here for animals uh, so your babies young ones cut and paste activities then um, about uh, the various kinds of animals wild pet uh farm and then endangered animals extinct animals uh you know everything about that the activities here uh, along with these um, of course what we get from animals very important chapter uh so along with this i also give you the uh, pdf which is uh, i give you two pdfs one is the soft copy of this so you can reprint 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 and another one is the uh additional support so there are more topics in there there's about hunters and poachers if you want the kid to learn so there is not a single uninteresting uh, uninterested moment in your kids life if they are you know sitting with these books 
they can simply you know worksheet after worksheet they can just get busy okay so then is about the plants the shrubs the herbs the uh, fruits the creepers and everything and then questions and answers similarly activities what do we get from plants and the uh, make the sentences so that's your volume one which covers three topics uh, followed by volume two which uh, covers I think four or five main topics that is your community helpers your places in the neighborhood your uh, festivals celebrated um, and your living and non-living things and the seasons so a total of five topics are there again very interesting activities you cut you paste uh, you know over here and then the questions and answers uh, enough practice sheets and then uh, match the following the seasons of course this is the next chapter i'm rushing because there's a lot to explain so the seasons and then name the spring months the rainy months uh, so lots of language lots of understanding uh, like is the temperature high or low in summer months now these are things which are uh, you know any regular uh, neurotypical is expected to know and the textbooks will not have a question like that whereas for our children it's very important to ask them even such like questions is the temperature going to be high or low and then we explain it to them so that they can answer it in as many words so then match the following true false activities and then living and non-living which is again in accordance with the uh, syllabus all of these books are strictly in accordance with the syllabus of uh, any state board or any evs uh, elementary classes syllabus basically till grade 5 uh, so and then again match the following true false and uh, write five now from here we also have write five points of difference so if your kid is still not that level you can retain the book and the soft copy is there so you can take as many copies just retain the soft copy as the kid grows you have support by your side so that is volume two now the new books volume three okay so this is about your water cycle the continents and the food chain very important topics again grade three grade four children uh, even for grade three grade four these are also nice because they give a lot of language and then there's the continuation okay so here uh, so this is linear processing you cut the strips and you say what happens first water becomes vapor again in the sky sun's heat changes liquid water from rivers and ponds into water vapor uh, for the very very young kids this might look like little advanced but these are all going to be useful as time comes and for uh, children of grade three four these are the things in the syllabus so their learning goes another level their interest in the subject increases when they go through all of this some schools even a grade one and two they do water cycle okay so what is evaporation what is condensation now these are booklets so the support that i will provide you in terms of the uh, soft copy will have the chapter also will have various uh, very beautiful pictures those are not here the, so you will simply put that up so that's the lesson and this is the booklet so after learning from there same pictures bigger size bigger version and then you attempt over here so it's a booklet so water to vapor so you are matching the options okay then uh, producers consumers the food chain uh, so like this all about the food chain um, then after that the continents uh, so this is like now going further like a grade four so you mark the continents you color them um, and then the presidents the prime ministers the ruling people uh, like this the flags the currencies all information here so these are very colorful workbooks i don't believe in black and white drab workbooks kids don't enjoy so cut and paste activities and colorful workbooks the lesson is equally colorful a lot more and it is in the soft copy so you can run it on the system and then you can give the worksheet so it also develops independence skills in the child to be able to so how many continents who are the what are the main countries what are the capitals who are the leaders of those countries everything in uh, EBS volume 3 everything about water cycle everything about food chain and continent okay followed by okay we're already at nine minutes so I need to rush uh, volume 4 volume 4 is very very picturesque and interesting it's about the 
entire bit of india all the union territories all the states as of now and all the state heads with the um, most recent changes incorporated the foods they eat the languages they speak so this is the social science element that we are preparing uh, the kids for so janmashtami dashera with these booklets you can ensure that whatever learning if your kid is older also and had a gap in the learning even that gets covered so it's basically the purpose behind these is a parent does not have to go places to search information to make the questions and answers all the effort i've taken that away by putting them here you just have to sit with your kid you know teach one time second time and then develop independent skills and a lot of language comes in because when you do a question like muslim women wear burqa right or wrong and you have explained so true false okay muslims worship many gods so false so like this um so like this all of those uh, then uh, so it's religion by religion so here you have mostly about uh, sikhism then there was about hinduism uh, then there was about islam and then christianity so the main four religions of india and the kind of foods they eat so again these are all the child can tear this page and then cut and match and paste it in a copy uh, so all of these are uh, and then about the state heads you mix and match which so it's a lot of learning and their general awareness increases so gone are the days when we used to say oh disability like i am though anyway allergic to that word if you have heard me before it just switches me off so my focus is to give that much information to the kid in a way that the kid will enjoy the information and learn so that one fine morning you are sitting at the breakfast table and the kid surprises you cuz you didn't know but he knew and said no no it's not like this it's like this and i've experienced many such aha moments and i know that is possible just we have to give them the right input okay so like this this is your volume four name the language speaking spoken in uttarakhand the dresses of uttarakhand so and men nicobar islands so like this and then finally there is the map so if your kid is not uh, this age now they can still use it as they grow up yeah and then the capital the state capitals in very colorful this thing they have to write here they can use a sketch pen and write very nicely and uh, finally write 10 sentences about india so that's your volume 4 and this is the volume 5 the five volumes that i had promised that i will bring for evs here they are on the table today so this is volume 5 it says states of matter this is where you know you are reaching like a grade 5 and and uh, for grade 6 onwards i haven't done yet but for grade 1 to 5 all matter everything covered in here nothing is left out okay so you have various landforms okay plateaus plains hills you have uh, you know the states of matter solid liquid gas how things turn um, the various water bodies and um, yeah landforms water bodies and solid liquid gas so again the child has to read match here so they cut these sheet and match it okay then what are solids give five examples so fill in the blanks uh, you know a school bag is a liquid now such kind of a question will enhance their um comprehension ability also so it's a true and false and says school bag is a liquid so they have to think and uh, the lesson of this again is available on the soft copy so with these i will give you lots of soft copies five soft copies of these five books and uh, of course more additional material so for you to refer to so those are big pictures and everything has been created keeping in view a special needs child and their learning method so it's a big picture it will register fast they will do it very well okay so then and the first time in volume 5 i put an activity a simple activity but it's a science experiment very simple parent can help and the child can do like i take water i put it in the freezer 
I let it be there for four hours. I take it out. What happens? So the child has seen. So the parent can help uh, through the activity and the child knows that uh, the state of matter changed from liquid to solid. And then I let it be on the slab for 20 minutes. Then what happens? It comes back to liquid. And then I put it in a pan and I put it up on the gas and I can see the vapors. So it goes into um, the ga gaseous state. So like this. And then what I figured out in the activity, I need to write it down here. First, I need to write, so it's very, very systematic. Here, I'm noting down what I did. Here, I'm summarizing everything as a kid and all independent. And here, after summarizing, I got my findings and then I write the whole thing on my own. So when a kid is able to do it up to this level and write on their own, it's a huge thing for us. Even if it's a small activity of making water into ice and then ice back into water and then so we achieve this and then later on we can incorporate bigger examples, bigger activities. So this is volume five is the beginning of incorporating science activities. The more volumes that will come, I'll make more and higher um, activities. So lesson two, landforms. What are mountains? Name the highest mountain peak. Again, uh, very picturesque and everything is there. You cut and you paste. So it tells you what is valley, what is a... You know, all everything about and then fill in the blanks like I like to do and make sentences on that also. And then here, question number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are the same. Why? This is your test. This is the test section. So it says this is where the child does with your help and then you hide it. And this is where you do the test so that it is clear to the kid. Again, match the following for water bodies same way big pictures make sentences and this is finally your volume five so these uh, i'm at 16 minutes i don't know if i can even upload this so these booklets are available each one for 500 rupees and um, plus shipping charges if somebody orders the full set of uh, five books i will give 10 percent off and uh, quickly may each kid win you can contact me on 7021 triple seven triple seven here are the numbers seven zero two one triple seven triple seven double eight triple zero six five triple zero these are the whatsapp numbers you can contact me here and uh, in case you're interested and you can procure the books thank you may each kid win bye bye